Hello guys, welcome back to our channel and the research is not yet over and uh, I've got some great findings and discoveries uh, today and I think this is worth uh, um, taking a look at as well. Check this out. I've, uh, I found this in Investigrams um, and I think in this section over here is really very insightful that I have not maximized myself. But in case you haven't as well, uh, I'd like to show you this section of Investigrams. Um, right over here you see stocks, right? Uh, from the home page. Let's just go to the home page. And uh, here stocks. And then go market summary. I bet some of you are already laughing at me because maybe this is something that you look at every single day but personally I haven't really tinkered with this yet but today I managed to anyway so this is the section where you have the market summary if you want to understand which sector um, uh, in the market is performing better or is at risk at any given time just take a look at this section okay on this section you will see all the stocks like the count of stocks that uh, managed to show uh, gains today so we have a total of 97 the declines also had 97 and unchanged 45 so here is a snapshot of uh, the volume um, traded the total value and what was dominant today is uh, actually we had a lot of foreign selling than foreign buying okay as uh, so here as well it's a very straightforward set of numbers that you can look at and um, <clears throat> this simply means that you know it's a bit bearish because consider that there's foreign selling but if you are to scroll down further you will have a clear understanding of which sector performed better today so right off the bat if you want to go you don't have a particular stock as of yet and just want to uh, maybe you diversify or you want to uh, check out which uh, sector is performing you can look at this so in today's performance right away the holdings sector um, managed to uh, register a 47.78 uh, foreign buying um, mining also got 2.43 million in foreign buying and the uh, property sector so from here you can drill down and probably open holdings by going to our PSE Edge, right? And in the PSE Edge, what you can do here is go to the company list and then go sector by sector, click holdings, and then search, and you will find all the holdings here. There are a lot actually listed over here, but what I recommend is, of course, just try to engage and open up those stocks that are highly traded and uh, right away i can see here gt cap one of the um, stocks in the index i see dmc another popular one all hc so um, i will try to open some of those in a little while smc here as well so there you have it so the thought process can start or originate from the market summary and then you drill down on a per sector level Okay, and after that, there's another section that I'd like you guys to also take a look at. This is what we call the block sales. Okay, so what is a block sale? And if you have the time, I'd like to walk you through. And, you know, my objective here is just point you to the right direction. And uh, you can uh, do further research around this. So in a bird's eye view, a block sale or a block purchase is done by big institutions so this means that they uh, buy large amount of, of shares and they do this before the market opens or right after the market opens so as they don't impact drastically the movement of, of, of any given stock during a uh, market day so for instance here BDO purchased a, a total volume of 460,430, right? 460.43K in volume, 
price bought is 91.78. Uh, FGen, there was a big purchase made uh, at a volume of 1.09 million and the price level is 95.10. MWC is another one, TEL is another one. In other words, at any time you see any block sale here, be curious, open the stock because institutions are accumulating volume. This could be a very attractive um, setup and we'll take a look at that. So earlier today, we already reviewed BDO and uh, let's see again very quickly how it, why, let's try to uncover what was the thought process of these institutions? Why are they buying um, in big volume for these particular stocks? Okay, so um, just to give you further uh, clarity on what a block trade is, right? So I opened Investopedia. This is my go-to uh, website uh, for anything I want to research about the stock market, okay? So as you can see here, a block trade is the sale or purchase of a large number of securities. A block trade involves a significantly large number of equities or bonds being traded at an arranged price between two parties. Block trades are sometimes done outside of the mar open markets to lessen the impact of the security price. In general, a block trade involves at least 10,000 shares of stocks, not including penny stocks or 200,000 worth. So disregard the pricing there because that's US based. And um, you can research further, but the main takeaways here, block trades are large trades made by institutional investors. These trades are generally broken up into smaller orders and executed through different brokers to mask the true size. Block trades can be made outside the open uh, market through a private purchase agreement. Okay, let's take a look at this. Sometimes they create videos that are very easy to uh, understand. Good grammar and spelling are important, but if you want to write essays that inspire, message. Block trade is the sale or purchase of a large quantity of securities. To be considered a block trade, the exchange should include at least 10,000 shares of a given stock or $200,000 worth of bonds, but they're usually much larger. Hedge funds and institutional investors use block trades every day to buy and sell huge sums of dollars and shares through investment banks. If the size of a block trade exceeds the typical volume the share sees on any given day, it can have a big impact on the share's price and if it's part of a major index on the market as well. But when two parties agree to make a block trade, they normally agree upon a price and make the trade outside of the open markets, thereby reducing its potential impact. For example, say a mutual fund wants to sell the 1 million shares it owns a generic club because of a sudden shift in consumer sentiment. If the fund sold its shares outright, the value of generic club shares could drop dramatically. The fund may also have trouble finding enough buyers to fill its order. But instead, the fund arranges a block trade with a hedge fund through an intermediary. The deal is essentially a redistribution of shares. It's completed much faster and the seller negotiates a preferable price. Block trades come with risks. A negative movement in the securities price can stick the buyer with a big loss or problems unloading the position. A block trade can also occupy a big chunk of the trader's money. There you have it. Okay. So um, this is a, another good uh, resource that you guys could uh, uh, visit. I'm not in any way uh, sponsored or linked to uh, this uh, website, but uh, this is a very uh, informative website for anything you want to know about the stock market. So in, in layman's terms, simply put, a block trade is uh, a, a large... Okay, is a um, a large purchase okay is a large purchase made by institutions normally done outside of the uh, market hours so as we don't impact um, drastically uh, the movement or the performance of the uh, of any given stock okay and so with that in mind so there must be something in these stocks that are looking attractive or that are enticing the investors or institutions why they're buying more shares okay so just uh, very quickly let's go back to bdo i know we've already reviewed this but let's uh, take a look at it one more time bdo over here 
Okay, so BDO, this could uh, simply mean a very attractive level because we are very near a bottom. This is already a third, a potential third um, triple bottom, okay? It's not just double bottom, but a possible triple bottom in case it touches the 86.44 level. So um, this is something that I suggest everyone should already start uh, watching because uh, any moment from now, look at as well your RSI, one second. Over here, your RSI is already giving us a bullish divergence as the price um, revisits the bottom section of, of uh, our chart here, momentum is starting to pick up. Okay, so that's that could be the thought process why they're ha um, adding some more volume there. So some experts or gurus could have different explanation, but uh, this is just me, guys. Uh, do your own research. I'm just connecting the dots based on what my findings are for today. Uh, let's take a look at as well um, FGen. Okay, this is another stock. Let me see. Uh, did we okay, we did not look at FGen earlier. FGen, okay, could be another potential uh, bounce here. Although overall. We have already started bouncing, um, but what at what amount did they buy this 25.10? Well, when did they buy this? I don't think it shows the date. Okay, so it didn't uh, show us any date. Oops. Take a look at FGen. So this thing Okay, they bought it at 25 probably over here but looking at FGen I think that it could also mean that we are about to face a uh, a continuous uh, uptrend there was just a temporary profit taking right that happened uh, for the past uh, how many weeks and then slowly it is recovering given that uh, in today's performance we already have um, a bounce and an 8.84 million of foreign buying so uh, just in case you're considering that uh, anywhere between 23.7 and 24.55 could already be a an attractive uh, area to add more. I just feel that it could possibly, right, provided 23.7 does not break, we might have some more uh, push in the price. Uh, MWC. Uh huh, interesting. 13.20. This one, I don't know why they got that but given that we had a breakdown in price here it could mean some more drops okay maybe a much better or uh, a yeah a much better position could be let's see on a weekly chart yeah we have to wait for it at the ma20 line we have to see a, a confirmation of a bounce at the ma20 level before we end we enter Okay, see that? Uh, I just feel like it might possibly move uh, in this direction. So something like that. Bounce and then continue to move higher. Overall, uh, given that we have uh, drastically uh, experienced a uh, breakdown in price um, in the last quarter of 2020, right now it's just uh, gaining momentum again and uh, Price is starting to pick up as well as momentum. Uh, RSI is already very close to the 50 level. So uh, maybe this is another good stock that you can start uh, monitoring. Okay, wait for that green candlestick very near the MA20 to come out before you enter. Overall, if you are a long-term investor in this stock, uh, there's a big, big um, potential of growth there. Growth potential. Okay, there you have it. Uh, what about this? Why did they buy Tel? At what amount? 
1300 double. Let's take a look at that. See that it has also uh, dropped um, very um, drastically. 1323. So the institution managed to buy um, how much? 20,000 in volume at the 1300 level. Okay. Yeah. So maybe they are expecting at this area, right? Because this could be a possible bounce. This over here used to be a resistance. You also had a resistance here and a consolidation here. Um, but if we are to go back to the daily chart, their resistance resistance support built here it dropped but it quickly recovered uh, so that could mean a possible uh, bounce in the coming days so something to watch out for then 4.97 million on foreign buying okay so um yeah there you have it bite-sized learning for the day um two things right first item that we've uh, covered is this area over here where you have the market summary where you can really understand uh, how the market performed overall looking at how many how many companies gained declined and uh, what was dominant uh, for the day was it foreign buying or foreign selling so this is your performance summary and if you want to uh, understand which sector really performed uh, against the others this is also where you will see it and if you want to use this as your uh, first step in isolating uh, which sector you'd like to engage in or which stock you'd like to engage in, you can even start from here. And then the third uh, key takeaway that we have for today is block purchase or a block sale. Uh, what is that? So overall, these are institutions buying stocks or buying shares in big volume. And normally it's done... Uh, outside of uh, the market hour, so it we don't drastically impact the uh, the market. And uh, one thing we've also learned is sometimes they break it into a smaller smaller volume or so smaller sizes, so that it doesn't really, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, it's not too obvious that uh, we are buying at, at that level and it's only done by by one institution. So that's a strategy. It's a game. Because if you're too obvious, then people would know and then uh, you'll not be ahead of the game. Uh, those people are, who are doing block sales, sometimes they do it as a, you know, it's a mind game. We have to be two, three steps or these institutions need to be two, three steps ahead. And uh, normally when you see a stock moving higher, that's when all institutions have already uh, uh, exposed themselves or they already have uh, entered. That's why... Uh, these stocks are starting to climb up. So yeah, another interesting page uh, worth looking at probably every single day and hopefully this can help in your daily uh, daily studies or yeah, in daily uh, review. In the meantime, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope I could uh, impart to you some more uh, key takeaways in the coming days. Thank you for now and bye-bye.